In a long time. <laughs> I dropped the mic, sorry. Like, literally, I dropped the mic. <laughs> it's been a long time anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we've played together quite a lot. Um, I don't know if we've ever played together pitched. I, I haven't played much guitar with you, have I? Uh, no, we've never. Uh, maybe once. I don't know. We've played so many times. <laughs> but I don't remember you, you as a guitar player. Yeah. Uh, oh. In all the beauty of the multi-dimension of that expression. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, well, the, the reason I think about it is like often when I'm playing with you, I, I've not made decisions about pitch so much. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, I, I've, I've had some sample stuff and that has some pitch stuff, but here, um, those tend to be fixed with few options where here I have that, you know, many more options. So it's, uh, it's, it's kind of interesting playing together, um, conversing pitch. Yes. Which, which we haven't done That's, much I mean, of. That, exactly, and there was a yeah. few good, uh, Pitches and throws and catches up and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, you know what I mean, like throwing the balls around the yeah, pitch yeah, yeah. wise, which is true. I've never done it with you. Yeah. Um, yeah. More in my jazz world, I reckon. Hmm. It was very jazzy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was some, <laughs> some. I mean, I, I did like that it had. Uh, there was a lot of um, shifts, which I, I enjoyed, and which is something that we've done a lot together. Like we had multiple types of things that happened throughout, and then we arrived at this sort of romantic -y drone that sort of took us to the, to the end, which is, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know what you think about my drones in general. <laughs> I mean, so, I, I was plopping some drones. Yeah, I know you did, uh, and, and more than I did, so I was, uh, so when you did that, <laughs> you know, we cannot pretend we haven't got a past, so when you did that, I just said like, oh, here goes the drony bit that he usually doesn't like in my tunes, so I'm, what about if I throw a rock at him? And so I was trying to stretch the harmonic vocabulary, hmm. uh, so I went, further than indulging in what you were proposing yeah. <laughs> and uh, proposed trying to steer you out of this and it worked twice so, so I think mm -hmm. it's uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to listen to that <laughs> it feels like there was a little uh, I'm gonna draw drone a la pie and then I say oh I'm gonna disturb a la rod <laughs> but it was the other way around so a kind of role play yeah yeah I loved it yeah so I, I guess in a context like this because we've played a lot together there's like a meta performance too as, as part <laughs> of I mean every time we play because we've played and, and shared a lot of language together um, that the language that you share becomes part of the language that you share. Yeah, it's our standards. Yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, it's our pop tunes that we sang. Yeah, yeah. And then we can <laughs> subvert that vocabulary together. Yeah. But yeah, so like the, the many contexts in which we played, we cannot erase. No, and it definitely informs it, obviously. Without, without, that's the thing, it informs it, but we, we're both experimented enough to not go places we've been in the sense, oh, that word before, so I'll do it. This is, the, as you know, and as we discussed many times, the worst way of making an improv, actually the best way to make it collapse mm. is to go places that you know will work. Um, so that, in that case, it's, it's kind of fresh, but it's the same freshness that you go to the market and then you see stuff you've cooked before with and you might get inspired, inspired to say, expired, yeah. You, <laughs> you're expired like most of the good fruits and you just say, I'm going to do a salad with this, but oh, look at this piece of meat. I never cook with that. Mm. So there's a lot of that that would happen there. We cook together with stuff we cooked before, yet 
you know, you're, you were playing the PA and I was playing the rod at one point. So <laughs> it was quite fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I also tried to pick a, a, like a setup that was somewhat unique. I mean, it's not terribly unique, but unique in terms of what we've played before. And obviously I had limitations in terms of what I could travel with. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm pleased how that has gone in, in terms of the range I was able to get, mm. you know, with, with, at the moment, actually, I used none of the electronics. So just guitar and objects um, was fun to do. I really dug this stuff with the synth as well in, in terms of how it blended in. Yeah, it, uh, I, if I'm completely, complete disclosure honest, uh, the pitch stuff that happened to be perfectly vaguely in tune by complete fluke. All I right. could pretend I've done the patch, but <laughs> like these are connected anywhere, nowhere. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's uh, but the tuning of the, you know, so there was, as I say, there was some serendipity in the pitch material, which I was very happy with and therefore used. Yeah, yeah. And if it gone pear shaped, which was the plan, when I <laughs> turned that knob, I was hoping for it to be somewhere else. Somewhere else, and it yeah. arrived right in the beautiful fifth. If I remember, was I like, oh, that's very lyrical. Let's go with this <laughs> one. But I was not planning that at all. So yeah. So you were specifically expecting, obviously, like non. -constant. Oh yeah, I went for like we were on something. The play, the bass tried to steer it, and you pulled it. So I said, <laughs> okay, we're gonna go there. That's the course tune button. Like yeah. Uh, I literally gave it a swirl. Mm. So like the chances of me arriving on the right pitch were... Mm. Uh, even even though you're a fretless player. Oh yeah, yeah, like I've got the that practice, but the fretless, uh, <laughs> the fretless knob I've got, no, no, no. Not, I haven't got the chops yet. No. <laughs> I kind of, it seems I do, but it, they're kind of intuitive. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> cool, shall we play oh, some more? Oh yeah, let's, let's play some more. I, while we, we chat, let me just load something new. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you know, my relationship with technology is always the same. But instruments that I have beaten uh, many, many times, but there's also instruments I play f early. So mm. I'm, I'm not going full fresh. I never go full old either. And I think this you might enjoy, or we might not, you know, who knows? But I need a second to, to load. But while I do that, answer my questions about technology. What do you think of, the, of what's your relationship with uh, new code versus old code? What do you do? Um, these days, a lot more new code, like and more like incorporating it more often. Whereas before, like when we used to play in the past, I had like the party van or something. I had like a fixed setup. They had tons of avenues it can go, but it was sort of like one monolithic thing that at any given time we played, it, I can use it. But I was very familiar with all that it can do. Yeah, but that's the thing. So I think at one point you become uh, you become meta. So I think that's going to be that's going to go horribly wrong. I'll try something. But it's just you become meta in the sense that you you recycle your virtuosity at a thinking level, I think, hmm. and your interface. You haven't changed much of the interface, in effect. So maybe like there is a bit there that you can feel yeah, confident yeah. that it's working. Yeah, it, it, it's something I've been thinking about because for for some of these performances or even just playing with people in general, because I, a lot of what I've done more recently is like one bespoke patch that does like three things, and that's kind of all I needed it to do. Um, but then if I go to play with someone new. It's it's a very restricted instrument, so like how to negotiate that. But more often than not, it'll just be like, oh, I feel like doing this and grab two things and whip up a patch just for that one performance. So I've done closer to that these days, whereas before it used to be like just a big, big mega patch that didn't change. Let me try something. Yeah. Um. Hmm? What am I getting in? Oh yeah, I got the wrong input. That's, that's a good thing I tested, eh? <laughs> so, um... Good, then we'd have an unplugged start. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, if I do that now, and I do that again, and I try that, and that, and that... Ooh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go! I'm ready now. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 